Shalom YouTube, this is your op, y'all is magnified, coming back with another video, this video is titled, Rick W, Proof of Claim, so with that being said, let's get to it, alright guys, I'm pretty sure everyone seen my video that I uh, posted up of my client going to court, standing as a man, and walking out of court. You know, so now after I posted that video, we have Rick W. Now stating that he had five clients who was up for contempt of court and that he his paperwork got them off or got them to walk out the court. Rick W. Provide proof of your claim. You see, provide proof. Anybody can get on here and say their paperwork did this or their paperwork did that. Where's the proof? You see? None of y'all are providing proof. I'm the only one providing proof. You know? And shout out to my client that did that. You know what I mean? I didn't even know he was going to do that, but he did it. And that was more proof. You see? So, where's your proof at? You know? You keep saying that the guy got paperwork. His paperwork, uh, the judge rescheduled him over and over and over again. But yet, and still... You the only person that's saying this stuff happened. There's no proof. You know, you're just talking. You're trying to make your paperwork sound good or sound better than what it is. When we all know it's trash. We all know it don't work. You know, we know your affidavits don't work, Rick W. We know this. So I just want the people to hear the claim that you're making. And so since you're making these claims, I'm asking you to provide proof of them. If you can't provide proof of your claim, bruh, then it's all fake. It's false. It's a lie. I'm challenging y'all straight up like that, you know? I'm, I'm throwing straight up challenges to y'all. Not just to show my subscribers that y'all are all phony, but to show people who do click on the channel who's not my subscribers that you guys are phony. You know, all of y'all are scam artists. Straight like that. So with that being said, listen to this, guys. Getting back to my paperwork is... Uh one guy, he was, uh, well, they're all being an accuser of contempt. Um, two guys have had him. Uh, uh, and look at them hand signals, too. Look at them hand signals he's throwing up. But let's continue. Suddenly, too, like uh, uh, two days before, getting phone calls that the uh, the case has been rescheduled. One guy was in, uh, uh, until further notice. In other words, he said. The guy got a phone call stating the case would be, uh, what do you say, uh, postponed until further notice. What? They don't call you and tell you the case will be postponed until further notice. You have to go to court and they will give you a court date right then and there. But before you leave that court, they want to have your next court date, your next trial date. They're not just going to tell you until further notice. Who does that? And if they did, tell them that, provide proof. With a paperwork that says, uh, we will let you know when the next time to appear in court. Where's that? Where's some documents at, Rick W? Come on now. You're just talking, man. There, there's no, nothing, you know, scheduled for a while. Which is nice. There is nothing scheduled for a while. What court was he in? I need to I need to find out what court that was in. Come on now, Rick W. You know it ain't go like that. You know it, you don't even have situations like this, Rick W. And if you did get in paperwork, I guarantee you, when they go to court with your with your documents, oh they going to jail. I I'm banking on that, especially if it's for contempt. You're, they're going to jail. Even when that uh, even that document Amino Cyrus put out there. They're going to jail, you know. You, you see, he didn't provide proof of the response from the from the lady who he wrote that letter to, because most likely the guy that he wrote the letter for is in jail or got a warrant out for his arrest. But let's finish. Okay, so you're going from a guy being accused of being in contempt, potentially uh, being arrested, to. Don't call us, we'll call you type of deal. That's very good. 
You hear that, guys? He said his paperwork did that. Where's the proof, though? Besides you just talking about it. Where's the proof? I provided proof. You know? I'm the only one providing real proof. All the rest of these guys are providing nothing, man. They just talking. One guy posted nine or ten fake testimonies. You know, back to back. They all fake. You know? Rick W. posted a fake document that he scratched out. Man, these guys are desperate for y'all money, man. But they know they're not getting nobody off. If they if they that serious like that, then tell them to have their clients go in the courtroom like I had mine. You know, or like how mine did. I ain't like I said before, I ain't know he was gonna go in there and do it. But like I said, big up to him for doing that. But tell these guys to take have one of their clients go in there and do the same thing and watch what happened. It'll never happen. Cause they they can't provide proof like that. They just they just all talk, man. Let's finish listening though. I like to hear him talk because it's funny to me. Getting back to the other clown real fast. I also remembered. Oh yeah, now he's talking about YC. So I definitely talking about YC. He's gonna go back to his his claim. Uh, one guy paid two thousand dollars for his paperwork. Sent the guy's paperwork in, and that is a warrant out for his arrest because it's not a proper response. My paperwork is a proper response to a contempt. So. I also had people that use my paperwork uh, being threatened with jail, and they're, they're, they're not being jailed. Um, see, another claim, but no proof. You see, that, that argument would not stand up in no court. You see, that claim would not stand up in no court because he, don't, he can't provide proof of nothing that he's saying. He's just talking. Ride down the street in his, in his police cruiser, you know what I mean? Talking like an episode of Cops. But he's not really doing no work like, you know, a lot of police do. They just like to ride around and look busy, sound busy, and act busy. But he's not doing nothing, basically. And his paperwork don't work, guys. You know, it don't work. Matter of fact, I'm going to post a comment up that me and this guy, one of his clients had, and his, uh, about his paperwork, and he went to court with Rick W. Paperwork. He argued me down it was going to work. And I told him when it don't work, only thing I'm going to say is I told you so. So I'm going to find that comment. I'm going to post that too for, you know, if I can show you guys. One subscriber was, uh, went to court back in like May. And they're playing games. Uh, he's, uh, he doesn't speak the language very well. His wife is doing a lot of work. Right? Sweetheart. Wonderful woman. And... Uh, she's trying to keep her husband out of jail and trying to, you know, they're, they're, they're being financially hurt. And uh, my paperwork has kept him out of jail two times. And uh, Do you see that? Do you see the hand signals? Who put up a number two like that? He's giving his allegiance out, man. You know, the guy's a scam. Talking about his paperwork helps somebody get out of jail two times. But what was that? What was all this at? Before I posted my video of real proof. What was, what was all this comment? What was all this? What are you talking about now? It don't exist. That's how you know. You know what I mean? The guy's Quarantel Pro. He's an informant or something, man. You know? He's out there trying to get you guys in more trouble than ever. You know? Him and Wide Seal. And Armin Osiris. Them guys, man, believe me, man. You know, I'm not on here trying to... Get anything from nobody, you know. I don't, I'm not on here after every video saying, you know, come and get my services, come and do this, come. And, nah, I'm not doing that, you know. Cause to be honest, I don't care who come and who don't, you know. Those who know the truth, they know the truth. Those who those know those who hear the truth, you know, they act on the truth they hear. You can tell with me, I'm straight up with you, you know. That's why I can call these guys out. And not care about them. Because I don't care about them. You know. Because they all frauds man. Take from somebody who know. They all frauds man. But let's go. Um, the last thing with the court was. Uh, you know next time. You know blah, blah, you don't do this. You're going to jail. He went to court on Friday. Yesterday. And again. Come back here. In September. Okay he went to court on Friday. 
Then the judge told him to come back there on September. So what? Uh, so Rick W, where's the paperwork that your clients got from Friday? Tell him to come back to court the next uh, on in September. What happened? them documents at? Put those documents up, for it can match your statement. You see, for it can provide for you can provide proof of what you're saying. Besides that, man, you're just telling dreams. You're selling dreams out here to people, man. You know you can't perform, and you know your paperwork don't perform. But let's finish. And or else, so you're going and again. And uh, the commissioner was wanting to know where they got the paperwork from. Okay. This. So there, obviously, my paperwork has uh, is preventing him from going to jail now. <laughs> hey man, he said his paperwork prevented somebody from going to jail. Oh my goodness, man! I don't, I don't see how, man. Come on now, I don't see how these guys got any clients, you know. But I guess when you desperate, cause I, I was once in that desperate situation too, man. That's why I went through Armin Osiris trying to get out of a child support and stuff, you know, cause y'all so desperate. But don't let that desperate, you know. Make you run right into a scam by being so desperate to get off, you know. But let's just finish, man. I ain't gonna be doing this bus so long, man. I just wanted y'all to hear these claims that he made. They all frivolous, you know. Come on, man. Bring, show some proof of what you claim. That's the reason why we're doing the writ of mandamus. Now, the writ of mandamus, you cannot appeal jurisdiction. Okay, jurisdiction. Only a judge can write a writ of mandamus. So, yeah, what he's talking about again is not going to work. It don't work. But continue doing what y'all are doing. But, yeah, I'm about to go to this comment and let y'all see this comment between me and one of his clients. You know, right here. Hold on. Okay, guys. Here is the comment between me and Rick W client he commented in my uh comment section of my video stating that uh you know he was rick w's client and he gonna go to court and when he go to court it's gonna work for him so i said okay make me a believer because i knew it wasn't gonna work for him but hey he he believed it so he needed to see learn the hard way like i learned the hard way you know i believe that stuff will work for me too you know i believe it wholeheartedly until I found out it was all a scam, man. I went in court. I looked like a fool in there messing with them peoples, man. You know? So let's read what he had to say. He said, people expect for the paperwork to do the work. Rick W's paperwork is official. I have them all and have pushed some. The courts are going to challenge everything you bring them. Our job is to challenge all that the court brings us through remedy and recourse. UCC. USC and that the record man and for the record I look up all the our man Osiris info and it is all light I mean he, he probably meant to say it is all right and I'm going to use it in court on July 18 2017 peace to all the gods okay then I responded back at the bottom I said do not forget to let us know how it turned out for you in court then he responded, I sent the CS commissioner an interrogatory and the respondent with an enforcement court date. <clears throat> the, I don't know what he meant by that. I guess, you know, he had a few mistakes, probably typing fast. I guess I meant to say, and they responded with an enforcement court date. I then pushed a letter of this honor with UCC. 1-308-1207 and they responded humbly telling me that their job is to enforce. The first letter was full of threats, coercion, and duress from CS. If dude used our man or Rick paperwork and he got railroaded, then I claim he is the problem. So I guess he was talking, because this, this comment was on uh, Micah's testimony. So I guess he was trying to say that Micah was the problem. Because our man Osiris paperwork didn't work for him, but hey, what I'm you know what I'm stating is this: if he believed that, so what I asked him at the bottom 
you know, but make him now, because if it didn't work for him, then he would be the problem, according to his own theory. So let's see what it say. What, what, I, what I asked him. I said, okay, so I challenge you to show us how it's done. If it worked for you, I will give a humble apology. But if not, all I have to say is, I told you so. Okay, so let's see his response. Or let's see what happened when he went to court. Boom, a month ago. I went to court and it turned out exactly how I expected it. Anger, belittling, challenging at full force from them. And every time I mentioned something, it was like I didn't speak. I'm looking forward to facing them again at my next hearing. That's what I said at the bottom, guys. Not to be rude, but I told you so. You see, guys? It don't work. You see what I mean? If it worked, he would have went in there, walked out victorious, and that would have been that. You see? So now he got to wait all the way over again. He probably got to file an appeal and all that other nonsense that Rick W. tell you to do just for you to get railroaded in the appeals court again. But like I said, that's why he can't provide proof of claim because it don't work. And I'm trying to tell you guys, it do not work. So with that being said, y'all have a good night. Be blessed. Continue to fight. Like and subscribe. Shalom, YouTube.